Welcome to the Fingerville Five. Hope that you're having a great day. Thank you for joining us. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We know that the one true living God is far greater than we can even imagine. Our finite minds cannot even hardly comprehend an infinite God. How blessed we are that he has chosen to reveal himself, uh, that we may know him, that we may love him, that we may serve him. Uh, we know that our understanding of him is limited. Uh, so through the scripture, one of the ways that he has given to us that we may know him more and understand him better is through the name that reveal his attributes or his character. And so we know that uh, whenever we look through the scripture, uh, that there are several names that just magnify certain as aspects of who he is and his character and how he ministers to us. And so whenever we take several passages of the scripture, we can read those verses and just thinking about his names and his attributes, and it's just such a blessing and a strength and encouragement to us as we live this life. Uh, you just take the 23rd Psalm. It says, the Lord, and of course we know that he is God, he is Jehovah, he is Elohim. Uh, we know that besides him there is none other. The Lord is my shepherd. Uh, that is Jehovah Rohi. Aren't you glad that in this world that we have a shepherd to lead us, to guide us, to teach us? We know that we are foolish sheep in need of a shepherd. Each day that we live, we need him to provide for us. We need him to guide us. We need him to protect us. We know that each day we as believers, as his followers, we should thank him and be grateful that he is willing to minister to us and minister, willing to be present in our life, be active in our life. How blessed we are that we as believers have a shepherd. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. Just as sheep, we know that we are very needy. Now, there's very little that we can do. We're very limited in our strength, very limited in our wisdom, very limited in our understanding. Uh, but we know that God provides. Uh, just as he provided for Abraham and Isaac, we know that he provides for us. I don't know what your needs are today. I don't know what needs need to be met so that you can love him more and serve him more and be more obedient. Uh, but I can assure you that if you turn to Jehovah Jireh, uh, that he will meet those needs, that he will provide a way uh, that you can be obedient. He will provide a way uh, that you can be faithful. He will provide for you uh, that you can be the disciple, the follower that he has called you to be. It says that he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Uh, we know that he is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. He restores my soul. Uh, Jehovah Rophe, he is our healer. Uh, many times we need restoration and God can do that. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. That's Jehovah Sidkenu. The Lord is righteous. He is holy. He is pure. He is just. Everything that he does is right. You have questions in your life, and I want you to know that everything God does is right. He's always right. Always has been and always will be. It says, for his name's sake, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That's Jehovah Shema. The Lord is there, always present, never leaving us nor forsaking us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. That's Jehovah Nissi. He is our banner. I'm glad that even in the face of trouble and trials that God is always there, uh, standing with us, standing beside us. It says, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runs over. A Jehovah M. Kadesh, the Lord sanctifies, he sets us apart. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, there was a commercial that played uh, back during Super Bowl 37. And in that commercial, I think it was around the time that uh, the movie Castaway had come out, and there was a FedEx worker that showed up on the door of this lady, and he had this package. He said, I've been a, being marooned on an island for all these years, for five years, and I protected this, and I'm going to deliver it to you today. And so as he begins to walk away, he stops and he asks the lady, he said, what's in the package? She opens it, 
And in that package that he had been holding on to for over five years was a satellite phone, a GPS locator, a fishing rod, a water purifier, and some seeds. So all that time he had what he needed with him to survive and be successful. I want you to know today that God has what you need so that you can survive, not only survive, but be successful and experience the abundant love, abundant life in Christ as he would like for you to. Thank you.